Guardians hosted the Royals, and the Royals are plus 120 on the money line. The Guardians are minus 142. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Royals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 178, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And Cleveland laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 146, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two runs or more. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. The weather for this game is supposed to be 92 degrees with 6 mile an hour winds from the left to the right and a 9% chance of rain. And the Royals took both games of the doubleheader today, which is shocking because usually teams don't win both games of the doubleheader. Lorenzen pitched once this season against Cleveland. Seven shutout innings and they lost that game 7 to nothing in uh, Cleveland. That was as a member of the Rangers. And then... Williams pitched three times against the Royals last year. Four shutout innings. They won that game 8-3. to three. He struck out five. Five and two-thirds, three runs, three earned. They won 10-6. He struck out seven. Seven shutout innings. They won that game 2-1. to one. That was in Kansas City, and he struck out six. Head-to-head, -head, the Royals are on a three-game winning streak. They are 8-2 and two against Cleveland in their last 10. The road team's on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 6-4. and four. The underdog has won the last two games they played against each other. The underdog is both 7-3 and three on the run line and 7-3 and three on the money line. There have been four one-run games in their last 10, including the first game of the doubleheader today. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the over-under at 8.5 runs is 5-5. Five and five. The Royals are 2-2 two and two in Lorenzen's uh, four starts with them in his last five starts. Four and two-thirds innings pitched, 4.4 hits, 1.6, uh, 1.8 earned runs, forgive me. 3.4 strikeouts, 2.2 walks, 0.6 home runs, 78 pitches per game, 24.7 pitches per inning. Now, those last two starts, he's averaging 14.6 and 13.6 pitches per inning. So he might have just kind of been slumping and found his rhythm. For Cleveland, they are 2-3 and three in Williams' last five starts. Four and two-thirds innings pitched, 4.8 hits, three runs, um... 5.8 strikeouts, 1.8 walks, 0.8 home runs. He's given up home runs and back-to-back -back starts. 87.8 pitches per game, 19.5 pitches per inning. The Royals are on a two-game winning streak. They are 2-2 two two in their last four. 13 runs, 14 runs, 7 runs, 13 runs. Two runs and a loss, three runs and a loss, four runs and a win, nine runs and a win. For Cleveland... 2-2 two and two in their last four, two-game losing streak. Obviously, they lost both games today. 18 runs, 6 runs, 7 runs, 13 runs. 13 runs and a win, 4 runs and a win, 3 runs and a loss, and then 4 runs and a loss. So now the million-dollar question is, do you take Lorenzen, who's kind of been meh, or do you take Williams? Both of these pitchers have kind of been on the fence, but the Royals have dominated the Guardians. So I'm going to go roll with the underdog here. I'll take the Royals with the money line. I will take the Royals getting the runs, but I'm going to go over seemingly when Williams pitched against the Royals. There were some higher scoring games. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.